the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. Cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnup, great dude. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. Somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly, hot, and sexy, and beautiful, and she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. The first photo from Disney Snow White with Rachel Zegler has been released, and it's a little bit different than what we've seen before. For context, this was a photo we've seen before, so these weren't the actors, but these are stand-ins, and... When I lived in LA, I was a stand-in for a couple celebrities and a couple things. When you are the stand-in for an actress or an actor, you're supposed to be the same height, the same size, and the same skin color as them. So this was most likely Rachel's uh, stand-in. But when the photos were released, it got a lot of hate because there's like literally one dwarf and everyone else is totally normal size. And at the time, Peter Dinklage, who is uh, a dwarf actor, he's the guy that played the angry elf in Elf. Um, and some other people said that Bashful and Dopey and a lot of those characters were not helpful uh, stereotyping dwarves. So it sounded like they were gonna get rid of them altogether, but obviously with the backlash, now we see these kind of like CGI or AI type of dwarves. So because, like I said before, stand-ins were supposed to be the same height, skin color, size as the actors, it seems like they probably made a lot of changes because now they're all dwarves again, but they're not, I don't think they're real people. Anyways, people are still extremely upset at her dress, saying the costume looks like it's from Party City, but people still think it's a terrible photo to have as a first release. And I think what happened is they pulled a Sonic the Hedgehog where people saw the photos and they just absolutely hated them. And now they're saying the writer's strike has caused the movie to come out instead of March 2024. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about woke Disney who may or may not be in full blown panic mode over the backlash against their woke version of Snow White. Okay. Because it seems as if they have made some major changes to this film including delaying the film and abandoning the woke dwarfs okay well they weren't really dwarfs they they were i guess woke <laughs> magical creatures right that's what they were calling them but now based off the first kind of official live action images that have come out um they're not using the woke characters anymore, okay? They have abandoned the woke crackheads, right? And they're just sticking with Rachel Zegler as Snow White. And it seems like they're using CGI dwarfs, as you can see here, okay? Uh, this is Rachel Zegler, <laughs> okay? And the dwarfs, okay? They, they have made them... Uh, I guess not as woke, right? Because it's, it's hard to tell because... This one right here, this this dwarf right here, he he looks like he might be, he might actually be a dwarf of color, <laughs> right? I'm just saying, I'm not entirely sure, right? But again, w what you can see here clearly is that Disney, um, they have been listening to the backlash. They're seeing that people do not like the direction of this film, uh, and they're pushing it back and trying to make changes to save what surely was going to be a disaster and what is probably still going to be a disaster, okay? Because this comes as the Daily Wire is pushing their own version of Snow White and um, that is starring Brett Cooper, who in my opinion would make a much better Snow White than Rachel Zegler. I mean, first and foremost, she is actually white, right? She's actually Snow White, uh, which, you know, hey, helps make you know the fairy tale kind of come to life which is the whole point okay uh um, you were bringing them but this is the difference right y'all tell me which snow white y'all like the best okay this is different rachel zegler versus uh brett cooper said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage what do you mean by that i just mean that it's no longer 1937 and we absolutely wrote a snow white she's that is not gonna be yeah, saved by the prince she's not gonna be saved by the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love she's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be 
said you were bringing aka feminist garbage right it's gonna be feminist garbage i don't even like the original story okay this is disney snow white versus daily wire snow white but by 2030 it's predicted that 45 percent of women will be unmarried and childless and why do you think that is well, it's because we have been told that, you know, men are trash and that our career is the only thing that matters and that marriage and children will inhibit that, which is unnatural. That is biologically unnatural for women. But by 2030, it's predicted that 40... Yeah, so again, you know, this is a tale of the two, two uh, Snow Whites. One Snow White actually, you know, cares about uh, traditional uh, family and gender roles, right? She actually cares okay about the fact that uh women are going to be single in the future in childless which i don't think is a good thing right the other one is embracing again the feminist narrative that's being pushed on society which is not what snow white is right that's not what snow white is snow white is a traditional love story and it seems based off rachel zegler talking that that's not what disney snow white is going to be right so again after the daily wires um version of snow white came out and after the backlash disney has now delayed it okay and they're trying to blame it on the um writers slash actors strike which could be a part of it but i think more so what it has to do with is the fact that um basically it looks like this movie is guaranteed to crash and burn right <laughs> there this movie is gonna be a flop okay it's gonna be a bigger flop than a little mermaid okay it it, it was on pace to be the biggest flop in Disney history. There was no doubt in my mind because even people that do embrace the feminist, you know, narrative and that are fans of Disney, uh, they didn't like it, right? They didn't like what Rachel Zegler was saying. They didn't like the fact that Rachel Zegler had no appreciation for the original Snow White. She didn't like the original Snow White and that the story was changing. They didn't like that, right? Nobody liked it. Conservatives or, or liberals or anybody, okay? Nobody liked it. So again, it, it looked like it was a movie that was on pace to be an absolute disaster okay they were going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars on this movie so again they've made some changes let's read about it disney pushed back the release of his live action snow white a full year after getting slammed for his woke messaging the live action film was supposed to be released in march of next year and there was no reason given for pushing snow white's release from 2024 until 2025 as there has been a significant amount of controversy surrounding disney's latest live action adaptation lead actress rachel zegler has been slammed for her comments about the original storyline which involved the character falling in love with a handsome prince quote I mean, you know, the original cartoon came out in 1937 and very evidently so. There's a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. Weird, weird. So we didn't do that this time, Zegler said of the new version. Quote, we have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because we cast the guy in the movie, Andrew Burnap, great dude, she continued. It's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's going to be, but it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful, right? <laughs> Again, you know, we've all heard these comments, okay? We have all heard these comments. Uh, while it remains unknown if Zego's comments had anything to do with Disney delaying the release, experts have already said the actress wokeifying of Snow White could tank the Disney remake. Daily Wire co-founder Jeremy Boeing said he believes the ongoing actor strike in Hollywood will be used as an excuse for the film's delayed release. Quote, my guess is the SAG strike excuse is just cover and that they are actually reshooting large parts of the movie to make a more faithful adaptation of their own classic film. Boring posted on X. Quote, will be interesting to see how Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot walk back their previous denouncements and insistence that the movie will be different. Yeah, uh, I agree with him. I agree. I, I do think that... Uh, the most likely outcome here or what you're saying is that 
they're going to rewrite the whole thing. They're going to redo the whole thing. Okay, they're going to keep Rachel Zegler as the lead actress, right? There was rumors that she was fired. That's not true. They're not just going to dump her because she'll, they'll be accused of racism <laughs> if they dump her, okay, for basically destroying the movie before it came out, right? I mean, that that honestly is a fireball offense, okay? Let's keep it 100. If they actually got rid of Rachel Zegler, the wokes will cry racism, but it will be Rachel Zegler's fault because had she just said nothing, um, this movie would not be on... A collision course for disaster right it wouldn't be that way it's only like that because of her talking okay and the more she talks the worse things get and i think disney has realized okay we need to we need to rewrite this right we need to go back to the original story we made the dwarves uh actual dwarves again okay we got rid of the crackheads right and we made them real dwarves um they're listing again it reminds me of what happened with sonic when sonic first came out and everybody was like yo this sonic is ugly <laughs> right we don't want, like the way he looks and then they went back and they redid it and that was a success right they listened to the fans now in my opinion i think that disney should be punished regardless i don't care what they do just the fact that they thought that they could woke up this movie Okay, in regards to the story, in regards to not having the Snow White actually be Snow White, right? Or the dwarves actually be dwarves, they should be punished regardless, right? I don't think that anybody should watch it. It doesn't matter what they do to try to fix the problem. Just don't watch it, right? I mean, me personally, again, it's a Snow White movie. I'm not going to watch it anyways, right? Because, I mean, it's Snow White. I'm a grown-ass man. I don't have any daughters, OK, um, you know, I don't have any real reason to watch this movie. Um, so, you know, me personally, I really don't care outside of the fact that, you know, hey, it's just hilarious to me to see Disney uh, walk a movie and then get the backlash that they're getting for essentially, again, destroying the movie and the fairy tale. And now they're trying to walk it back and trying to fix the problem when, again, I think it's too late. I think they should be punished for even thinking about doing this in the first place right the fact that they even thought about destroying this movie okay in the wokest way possible they should be punished it should still be a disaster right so again they're gonna try to push it back they're gonna they want things to cool down they're gonna tell rachel zegler to shut up right don't talk don't speak okay they're gonna <laughs> They're going to push her to act like a traditional woman in public, right? And don't say anything, right? Don't say anything about this movie, okay? Shut your mouth and um, let's hope and pray that uh, this movie does not tank the way that it was basically guaranteed to tank before all of this controversy came out. So, yeah, I think that a lot of this has to do uh, with the backlash. I think it has something to do with uh, the Daily Wire and um them coming out with their own version of snow white um i really do think that disney is in full-blown panic mode right now and this is proof that they knew or that they know that if this movie came out today that it would be an absolute disaster they would lose hundreds of millions of dollars on it so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace